Al Burge bringing the rock up out of backcourt. There's a Sato on the flash down low. He'll give it to Burge, and he lost the handle on it. Here comes McDowell White on the far side of the court. He'll stop, hand it to Atencia at three-point range. He'll drive in, ball fake. And he'll shoot with six points to lead all scores here in this one. Cutting back door with Terrence Shelby. He gets the loose ball. His shot is blocked there by, I believe, Suarez. And that's something he's very familiar with doing. Shelby Jr. He'll shoot it from the free throw circle and he'll knock it down. Good looking jump shot there by Terrence Shelby Jr. Nice basket right there. Long left arm of his. Three try by Atensi. He won't go. Gardner crashes the rebound. He was all over the back of the Firestone players. No call there. Here comes Sonny Cousin on the race out. Gets in deep. Shot blocked from behind there by McDowell White. Again, another physical play there, but no call. Here comes McDowell. He'll have to sit down here with 7-11 to go. Coach Rudder doesn't appreciate that call, so neither coach here really appreciative of the early officiating in this one. 28-24, good defense, and some pretty good offense here in this one. This is Gardner way out at three-point range. Hands it to Atencia way out on the perimeter, just below the half-court circle, directing traffic with that left hand. He'll step back in seconds, and he'll come in for Michael Taylor. Five-point advantage here. Six minutes to go until halftime. This is Terrence Shelby Jr. in the paint. Sent back by Terrence Shelby. Works himself free on Gardner. He'll shoot it and he'll hit it. Another one from behind the line for Terrence Shelby Jr. He's got 12 points and he's two of four from three-point range. 50 to 38. Firestorm lead it by 12. Now it's McDowell White at right wing. Back to Atencia. In between the circles he has it as number two. Terrence they know is on the deck. So foul on the floor. There is no continuation in the NAIA. Here's Terrence Shelby again with that crossover. His first step is just unreal. Sonny Cousin with a ball fake. Drive in, lay it up, score it. Sonny Cousin with great ball control and tremendous athleticism to get that shot to go down. It's 64-55, nine-point advantage for the Firestorm. Shelby Jr., three try is no good. That ball looked like it was halfway down, and then it rimmed out. Tough break there. Three-point ball game. Eight minutes gone by second half. This is Jordan Starr, the freshman. Over to Hodges Bailey. He'll rise by Eric George and Ryan R.J. Johnson. 69-69 inside 10 minutes to go. Golden State Athletic Conference basketball here inside Fultz. Cousin shoots a three. Buries the three ball. Dowling long and connecting is number five, Sonny Cousin, and it's a three-point advantage by the Firestorm. They continue to sizzle from behind her on the drive over to Sonny Cousin, and that pass is a low pass. It goes right between the wickets for Sonny Cousin. Even as a shortstop, the young man wasn't able to. Atencia over to Starr. Masters trying to be a little bit more deliberate. This is Starr on the drive. His shot's blocked there by Aceto, and somehow or another... Suarez fouls out with 11 points and five rebounds. They've got the big man out. That is huge for the next 237. See if the Firestorm can take advantage of that with Callum Lawson or perhaps Emilio Sato. Who knows? It could be Al Burge. And Lawson's free throw rims out. It wouldn't go. Tough break there. Heartbreak hotel on that one. So Lawson with 27. Here's Atencia behind the back. Nearly stolen by Cousin. Now it's Jordan to you athletics. Firestorm will take a couple days off. They'll continue to practice, work hard, and they'll get back in the gym on the 11th day of December on a Tuesday night in Mesa. They'll take on Benedictine at Heap Gymnasium. But here they got work to do. They trail by four with a bunch.